I have like the worst caffeine headache right now and I'm trying to trying to mitigate some of this. That's uh I didn't eat, I didn't drink, I'm dehydrated and just it's been a long day. I'm here. Still having issues with my um, avatar thinking I'm angry, so she's making angry faces, and it's just my back hurts. <laughs> thing that can probably a thing that can burn burn some time we'll, we'll make a, a trip into the infested dungeons that reminds me I uh, now that I've got ancient dungeon for desktop I actually am gonna have to focus on that whole side project of rebuilding the intro area for ancient dungeon so that we can do a silly little transition thing later Beep, 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 beep. Uh, I'm taking up way too much of the screen. Hold up. Let's, let's, uh... I move, I move around. I scamper. I scamper inside my own place. Okay, that's doable. Zed. Okay, but why are we suddenly in? S oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. All right, we were in slideshow mode for. Uh... Hi, Dan. I hope you're well too. I hope that's an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? 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 We, we hit this button, and then this button, and then this button. Yeah, I'm bigger again. I'm big. Big puppy. Large wolf. So large, so wolf. 
You wouldn't believe what this wolf gets into. Cabinets, furniture, bad situations. In view. What? Huh? Why am I getting file I folder options energy. in the middle of this? What? No. Windows, how did you even do that? No! Bloody hell. So right Don't where these plague energy. maggots are right now, uh, I have <laughs> display settings popping up. There we go. It wouldn't go away. Clicking on it didn't help. What is... What are we... Uh, what is this place? Oh, woo! Oh, wow. I haven't seen that... I haven't seen that emote in so long. I just kind of stopped using her. I don't know why, either. I, I think it was just mainly I wanted to make certain that they were unique enough. I'm having to remind myself that my idea of unique goes above and beyond what a lot of other folks do. But in some ways, I also don't feel like it's enough. It's a lot of bugs. I need more time. No, 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 no. We're having some fun. What is hurting? Oh. It just talks with me. Got it. I don't have enough energy. I'm not ready yet. I'm low on energy. Yeah. Well, it's like I actually personally don't like the way that TSW Wave Day came out because a different person inside this head drew it, and you can tell that she has a different art style. But it it literally the same body, same body. Made that piece of art. Looks like a completely different person did it. Huh. I wonder why. And, uh... Yeah, like... Don't know. Don't know when the, when the pup's gonna have time and presence of mind and be able to step in and do that. Because, like, it, it requires that the other two aren't busy as well, and... Good timing for that sound. Uh... Oh? Yo, Raider, thank you for... Th thank you so much! I super... So <laughs> ah! Super appreciate the subscription! I am also dying. <laughs> thank you so much! I really appreciate the support. I need more time. We're still figuring our stuff out down here. I don't have enough energy. Go, go to the bar. <laughs> it's good to see you, hon. Thanks for dropping in. I hope you enjoy the show. I need more time. We're we're doing some side questing today. I'm low on energy. I am. Super enjoying that new Reign of Arrows ability. I 
need more energy. I need more time. Ooh, what I got over here? Nothing of use. You know the thing where you sit in front of a campfire and uh, you try to like enjoy enjoy a nice beverage and listen to the wind going through the trees and the smoke just keeps chasing you around and it gets in your eyes or like when you're in front of a barbecue and you get back on Diablo and put a lot of hours in a VRC instead. You know that's totally valid. And uh, if you decide that you, you want to do some adventuring with Diablo, um, it's probably still going to be a minute before I get to a point where I'm able to actually adventure on stream with a lot of folks, aside from, like, requesting air support on certain missions that are just too much for me. Uh, but what I'm finding is, like, I'm really, really slow at this. I like reading all of the books and the stories and the notes. I like going through every little side quest because those make up what is this world the people sanctuary live in the vrc pipeline also true there's a lot of cool stuff to be done in vrc uh, and now now that i've got ovr toolkit i have to get the whole thing programmed but uh i'll be able to actually start doing some vr stuff it's gonna be really fun as a way to get rid of the smoke that's an interest. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about the colloquialism, where that one comes from. I've always just, like, got up and moved, and then the smoke just follows me anyways. A problem has entered the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome in, LaFeel Fortuna. Huh. <laughs> Uh, we are doing some side questing in D4 today, and I just picked up a bunch of silver ore from inside of a mine, and I'm trying to fulfill the ridiculous amount of side quests that I managed to pick up without uh, actually finishing some of the acts before moving on. I super appreciate that they did put in this much stuff for me to look at. Uh, it kind of sucks, though, that, like, there's a limit to how many you can pick up, but I know that's a balanced decision from, uh, from Blizzard, because, like, let me make sure I'm not actually under attack real quick. Uh, say, for example, these missions down here, where stuff exists in this one spot, and there's certain enemies that'll spawn in that one spot. Say White Rabbit on repeat until it went away. Pipeline needs to more cozy hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. See you next Saturday. Uh, we'll 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 see what happens. You would say "White Rabbit" on repeat. You'd say or sing like "One pill makes you larger." I just remembered that I have a horse. Say when the fire went in your face. Okay. Alright, so we're going back to Ked Bardu to turn in this one. Wasn't there this week you were at your brother's bachelor party? I mean, there was a lot of other parties that were going on this last weekend. Um, I, I think I was there for maybe two and a half hours before I just ended up falling asleep in the middle of the dance floor. Uh-oh. Well, okay. I was like, I appear to be having a disconnect issue because everything stopped paying attention to me in game. <clears throat> oh! You, 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 you are my target. You are my target. I'm, I'm attacking you. I'm attacking you. Nothing but blues. Nothing but blues from a treasure goblin? <clears throat> what 
what a disappointment. I should grab this though. Glittering ore is good. Here I go, horsing around again. Get out of my way, bandits. I'm a very, very laggy rider. <laughs> okay. Now, where is a crucible of worth? Let's go get this axe rebuilt. So, <clears throat> the treasure is elsewhere. The treasure is elsewhere? The Khajiit took it? Uh, <laughs> actually, I do want to look at the um, inventory info on this one. Quest. Crucible of Worth. Silver Quartz, a rare ore coveted by the Oxen Tribe Blacksmiths for its malleability and resilience. It was me. <laughs> Torn from a servant of the Burning Hills, this horn seethes with ill intent. Only a master of their craft could render this material into a weapon. So what we're working on right now... Oh, we are getting crunchy here. What we're working on as, uh, as far as what the side quest is, this is the Axe of Bolkathos. As in the actual set item from Diablo 2 that is so sought after. Um, it got it got ruined during the sundering of Ariat Summit. Something happened, and its its protections and magics broke. And in the the 80 years since that time, uh, its magics have faded so far that when it was stolen by some Khazra, the Goatmen, it got broken. Like, actually sundered and ruined. And so, we're currently taking it to the um, the actual blacksmith of the children of Bolkathos, the, the Oxen Tribe Barbarians, to go reforge it. I'm super excited. Gerti, I have what you need to repair the axe. A sturdy horn and a fair amount of silver quartz. The ancestors led you well. Though the axe will take a new form, it will be stronger than ever. But it deserves to collect more than dust, to taste demon blood again. It should be in the hands of the worthy, one to wield it with purpose. If you meet the Triune again, remind them of our strength. Oxen does not yield. I thought I was reading that out loud. That explains why it sounded so muffled. Okay, well, that was cool. <laughs> I was trying to say, I'm not a barbarian, Gertie. I can't use that. But I'll make certain it goes into good hands. Okay. Prime. Five damage, max life, max life. So either way, these are just going to be... Blip. Can I change what goes into these? For all decks. No. It's only the yellow ones. Do you like how they kept the game very Diablo? No, a lot of games are doing a graphics overhaul, but this is still distinctly Diablo. Yeah, yeah, especially... Um, <sighs> I will actually make a trip up to Skaz Glen during this stream, and you'll be able to actually see, like... It looks like the Blood Moors, because it's supposed to look like the Blood Moors. It makes sense that the rogues of the of the Sightless Eye ended up there, because uh, they live near there. They're just across the bay. It's the same latitude. It's the same horse latitude. Quill rats exist at the same latitude across the globe in this universe. They actually were consistent about their world building in a D&D &D milieu sense. I love this. Oh! New lore. Garrity, what happened at Mount Arya? Most outsiders care only for our steel. <laughs> Seldom our history. Well, I'm an archaeologist. Our kind were born in the shade of the mountain. Many tribes, many people, raised to fight and sworn to protect our home. And for thousands of years, we did. 
Until Baal, Lord of Destruction, marched on our mountain to seize the power inside. The mountain was destroyed. Our homeland, poisoned. We have been adrift ever since. <sighs> How else can I help? Tell me, I will do what I can. <laughs> oh, more skill points, right. Uh, what do I want to add to? When you critically strike a dazed enemy, they're knocked down. Your evade cooldown is reduced when dazing. After knocking back or knocking down, you gain crit strike chance. You're gonna need all the salt. I don't use stealth, so that one's not going to help. Imbued skills gain additional crit strike chance, which cause more explosions. Oh, this will still level up even further. I could do even bigger explosions. Uh, when activate, you gain increased crit chance for four seconds. Gain more energy. Energy regeneration. Nah, we're going to do this. So for every time that I end up using the uh, Death Trap now, it's going to refill all of my energy. I'm going to have to relearn like the rhythm of combat to make best use of it, but this will make it so that I basically get an entire quiver's worth of Shadow Bolts after each shot. Hey there, Colt. Good to see you, hon. Got all, all the friends dropping in. This is awesome. Okay. So next up, we've got so many quests down here. Uh, let's do Strange Remedies. <clears throat> okay, so here's something for the, the uh, old, old school Diablo 1 fans. What do you think the weight limit of a town portal is? Like, how much mass can you shove through a portal? What are the limitations of that? I've been thinking about this for a minute, and I now have two people on stream that I know play Diablo 1. <laughs> <clears throat> a wolf's honor. Let's see what this quest is. Oh no. Oh no, we're loading. We're loading. We're loading. Uh... Game? Games? Your wounds are still fresh. You can buy them again when I return. Oh, my computer is not happy right now. What is? Let's see here. Uh. Okay, that seems to smooth out. A little? No. We are in slideshow mode. It would always be about the party's carry weight plus half again. So what about... Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that like the physical strength of the character would matter in this case? <clears throat> I, like, I like the way you're thinking. Uh, is this Diablo or OBS? Because it's running smooth on, on my end, but I'm watching OBS just crunch. Let's see. We'll try killing Diablo. Oh, that instantly. Yeah, okay. It was Diablo. Do you like to break systems? Okay, so... Uh, <clears throat> spoiler alert for anybody listening that hasn't played Diablo 4 yet. Uh, three seconds. Two. One. Okay, giant loot goblins. Giant loot goblins. Like... The size of of small buildings, like the size of a barn. Uh, <laughs> loot goblins have portal technology. It's it's so weird to me that you see them like carrying around bags full of metal and treasure and stuff, and it's like it's way more than a, a player would normally carry. Oh, something went wrong. Okay, are we coming back, Diablo? Are we... Is, is this an OBS thing? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh. 
Let's see if this starts me in the Wolves encampment or if it puts me back in like Ked Bardu. Also, I love that the Iron Wolves from Diablo 2, the Act 2 mercenaries, you can go higher. Uh, they're they're like an entire mercenary force now. Oh, I'm like right where I was. Asa, hey, where do you need to go? Perhaps I can help. A generous offer, but this is my responsibility. I let my soldiers into those dumb drawings. And two of them lost their lives. Alim and Tala. I must retrieve their belongings. What well, if I go for you? You need not go alone. Fine. I will accept your aid, Wanderer. Meet me outside the old ruins to the west. And steal yourself for a fight. Okay. I'll see you there. Are their belongings worth this much risk? To survive in the desert, a pack of wolves can't allow anything to go to waste. When an iron wolf dies, all that they carried is shared among the rest. Aww. It's how we honor them. That's like legit D&D party stuff right there. Aww. Oh, hey, puppy. Hello. <laughs> uh... Hadam, is there trouble? When is there not trouble? I told you when I'd pay double for the head of that big ugly skeleton in the tar pit. All I get are excuses. There's a skeleton? It's so easy, you can. It's on fire. See? Hey there, I don't you at all. If you go kill the bastard, I'll give you the reward instead. Okay, so looks like I'm going to be hunting a giant skeleton. Uh, this takes place... Uh, I'm trying to think of how long the Worldstone event is. This is essentially a hundred years after Diablo 2. Like, if we see the bones of King Leoric, they're going to be powder by now. Um, hello, hello! This plant... This... Ugh. This whole world map, though, you'll note, is on a separate continent, but references some places that are in the original books. Uh, the Richard Knack's books, Legacy of Blood, Gekul, and Ked Bardu are two of the places that the, uh, the, what's his name? Norek Viseron. I can't believe I remember his name. Uh, <laughs> But the, those are the places that he ends up going before he ends up in Loot Galane, and then later, I think, he ends up in the docks of Kuras, but I don't know, like, what city specifically that actually is. Um, so, as far as, like, the march to West March, and then, like, taking over of, of those places, uh, all that started here, um, roughly, roughly right here in this general area. It's kind of hard to say because, like, space is truncated. Uh, when you see me, like, travel from an encampment to an encampment, that's representing weeks of in-game travel for the character. And that's on horseback. Okay. So... The roads are dangerous. Why travel to Dolgar? We came for the Iron Wolves. They've protected my people since before I was born, often asking nothing in return. <laughs> well, poor practice for mercenaries, if you ask me. So, we will repay them however we can. Keep them fighting. Aww. The people of this desert are so good to each other, like... Or at least in this part. The, the oasis... Seems to just, like, foster goodness. I love this. It makes me so happy. Okay, and that's that's about it for that area. So we're gonna do strange remedies and then a wolf's honor. A pup onto our strange demonic horse. Hmm. Mercenaries doing their combat training. Just go punch each other for a while. Learn how it feels. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no, I hate this place. I hate these scorpions. They're so mean. Oh, we're having this glitch again. Okay. I don't have enough energy. I'm not ready yet. I love that the skeletons in this have voices. You when when you hear the skeletons, they're they're busy going. Bleh! Like they growl at you. I don't have enough energy. Also, fun fact: the aspect ratio when zooming in in this is the same as the uh, the full size of everything you get to see in Diablo One. Like the only thing they're missing is the overlay map. So we're heading this way. Out of my way. I love being able to ignore enemies in the way with the dash abilities. Heck yeah! <laughs> Cheers, Dunner is unusual. And also, happy pride to everyone! Asia, what can we expect inside these ruins? The dead walk inside. More than I can count on my last visit. No one stops us. We must find Iron Collar, collect our belongings, and leave. Quickly. Okay. Ooh. Mysterious blue smoky water. I want that. That's, that's, that's mana potion. That's mana potion. You never see mana potion in this world. They've only got, like, health potion. That's crazy. Every time I lean back to take a drink, my avatar goes wacky. Hello. Are we, are we smooth again? Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, is this an active library? I have to go look. I can't tell yet. Are the magics still alive here? Not on that one. Wait, I'm not here to loot. I'm here to save your friends. Slay all enemies in the archive? Wait, really? I thought we were just here to get the things. And if that's the case, I'm gonna go loot then. Your friends are already dead. You're safe with me. Let's go. <laughs> I have plot armor. I am the hero. I love that the skeletons actually block here. Like they they legitimately use their shields to their full effect. Ooh, another chest. A boot blade. Whoa, hello. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping in. More goats. You never see them from this angle where they're like actually in fine detail. 
It's interesting that the Haradrim are like trying to figure out what's up with the Khazra, but it does bother me how they just generally disrespect the body. How? I'm on fire. I need more energy. I need more time. called Compendium Maleficarum. If you find it, I've got a buyer who pay a king's ransom. And you'll never have to see another snake for as long as you live. <laughs> Julia! Mmm. Hey, Sa, do you want to tell me what's up with this note we just found? Or are we just going to ignore the fact that uh, I just found this note on that skeleton? <laughs> Also, why did the skeleton pick that up? How is it that I can feel this powerful in combat right now, and yet, like, have had as many issues as I did trying to fight Bajoub last time? <laughs> uh, what a terrible battle. Got my butt kicked. Never did win. Whoa! Who are you? Nangari? I need more energy. What are you? Whoa. They do seem to die fast. I also seem to have figured out my stun combos a lot better. The the last four skill point investments that I put in really changed this character. This door is sealed. been unsealed. How... Alright. This feels weird. This feels more like I'm tomb robbing, because, like, where is this person's ally? Mm. The study halls. Return a mechanical box to the pedestal. Okay. Shouting to 
What? Okay. Good. We're done here. I will take their belongings and carry them back to Dalgur. Okay. Come find me there when you come. We will thank you properly. Okay. I'm going to figure out what's up with this haunted box. <laughs> that skeleton cackling. <laughs> They're just living their best life. Hanging out inside these dungeons. Just some wacky fellows. <laughs> Mary Nungani Su. Confuse me so much. Ow. Well, that's an armor rack. Nope. Nothing of value now. We got separated. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. They do seem to die really fast. They must have like a low crit weakness or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not ready yet. Or there might be like an inherent resistance that uh, specific enemy types have. These are counting like two enemies as a level and I'm just tearing through them. Thank you, Wanderer. Without you, I'd be dead. They do seem to die really fast, though. I can't carry any more. Do I have any whites? Nope. All right. Town portal. Ow. <laughs> Got my lighting all stuff. All that stuff set up correctly here for today and it's actually tracking well. I'm I'm enjoying being able to puppeteer by messing around a little bit. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Pinch of poison. I'm not doing that. Not doing that one. Mm -mm. How's our... We're actually low on money. Are any of these worse at all? No. <laughs> Sometimes it just really does not want to uh, render. Double check for any other story stuff. Wait, it's not. Nope. Um, 
much. These are all just random drops. Famed Oxen Tribe ancestral weapon wielded by Warmaster Raycor. It is stained with the blood of demons from Mount Arya. That axe looks crazy. Okay. Let's go get some healing. Potions, elixirs, brews. Have a look. Demon slain. Because all the bosses are demons. So it makes sense to make a bunch of those. Further increase my attack speed. Yes. Shala, I'm sorry to do this to you again. You certainly do. You now have an entire armory in your pocket. Enjoy your newfound career as an arms dealer. Good luck in your travels. I know. <laughs> They set up a trap while I was away. Out of energy. Just gonna continue through here. Oh, are you kidding me? Nah, man. Nah. Ow. You suck. You suck so much. So much. I hate you. I hate you, Butcher. I hate you. Why? Why do you come after me like every stream? What did I do? How did I upset Blizzard so much that every stream that we play Diablo, you show up? What is going on with this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> isn't even like a challenge dungeon this is just me like oh, i'm gonna clear this out and finish this up what the hell too many of them died so they had tried to fight smarter you know that makes sense i like the idea of the skeletons like picking up tactics after a while from fighting random adventurers <laughs> uh, should we can uh Dan, are you are you capable of setting up a counter and stream elements for how many times I've been attacked by the butcher? <laughs> Can't believe that. Low on energy. Well, they crumple quickly, but they also deal a lot of damage. Ow. <sighs> Ooh, a delicious snack. Oh. 
I am now death. I am fire. Where's the butcher now? Wow, you attack really fast. It's a good thing I have stutter. Stutter, stagger. Frozen? No, no, not at all. Shadow Step. Could you imagine how terrifying this Huntress actually is? Like, mages that are used to freezing their target and being completely safe can watch as she gets actually frozen and then looks at them and teleports right behind them and attacks like Alucard. Like, this is a messed up powerful Huntress. <laughs> Slither. Hello, Slither. Oh, you look cool. I'm not ready yet. I assume you're a seer. Ow. Okay. Gives me a decent idea of what the attack is. So there is a max range to that, and I am breaking it. That's good. Ow. Got stunned. I staggered the boss. feel pretty good about when I actually have to go to the swamp later because uh, I was having problems with those enemies when I could try to go through there at like level 30. Although I think I was also playing with my sorceress at the time. I do not remember. Oh, it had to have been because I don't have the map on this character. Nice. Not bad. Iron blood aspect. What does that one do? Barbarian. Bleeding enemies increase damage reduction. Well, that's pretty cool. <sighs> Next. Hmm. 
Why does it bother tracking like the angle of my head? But not the re like the the depth goes out the window when it can't see my lips, but it still tracks the angle. I don't understand. I I truly do wonder like if I would actually see any kind of um, performance benefit from running something like AR Kit. I really just want to test it out. Oh, this is messed up. Trap my horse in here. Who does that? I need more time. I received a message. Oh. I've never noticed the messages in uh, in Diablo 4, so that was a first for me. All these people just standing around that one dead body, like, what happened? My attack speed is delightfully high now. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Feeling powerful. Very nice. Next up. We go further south. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, lethal shrine. I'll take it. There we go. Okay. Let's go see if that, that giant demon's over here. There's a giant demon that sometimes shows up in this area. Don't know how long this lethal shrine's gonna last. Ow! I just kicked my toolbox. <sighs> Dancing to music in VRC, forgot. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. I'm not ready yet. Nice. Cheers. Why does that taste like ramen? Ugh. That shouldn't taste like ramen. I didn't even eat ramen. Lisa, how are your wounds? I'm healing well. Thanks to the herbs Tala carried in her pack. She was a skilled healer. And a cunning warrior. Got we those medicinal you, herbs, Tyler's huh? Dagger, as a token of her thanks. I'm right. Remember her name, and carry it well. I mean, it'd be easiest if the dagger says her name or something on it. But yeah, it. I mean, it's gonna go inside of a box, and I'm probably not gonna use it because I have a lot better knives right now. But you know, I'll, I'll respect her name. Found a great pho place. Give you a bucket of food. Oh wow. <laughs> um. Yeah, 
Yeah, you'll have to DM me where that is, where that's at. Uh, I I do enjoy getting some good pho. It's actually been a minute since I've had any. Hey there, Nine Gosling. So wait a sec. They have a blacksmith here. Talus Fang blade, fashioned into the shape of a wolf's fang. This blade excels at striking from the shadows. Enemies affected by trap skills. Anything else is just like, eh. Right. You can still use this. And I know that I took some damage. Nothing can be upgraded. Let's go see what's on the other side of the camp here. Smack, smack, peglin slapping noises. Super, I have your gut bead. I'm never going to get this smell from these clothes, though. Thank you. It may not look like much now, but this will help save someone's limb. As for the smell, ugh, uh, go to the tar pits. It won't save your clothes, but maybe the odors will cancel each other out. <laughs> Use sulfur to wash out the smell of rot and decay, huh? I mean, I don't... I don't think it's going to add to the problem. <laughs> hey, computer? Computer, are we okay? Hello? Hold on a sec. Hmm. Half my system memory was going to Firefox. Cool. Love that. I'm looking at my own stream and that's it. And it's still chewing on half of my system memory. Oops, something went wrong with Diablo. I wonder. We're experiencing a DDoS attack, which may result in high latency and disconnections for some players. You know? Hmm. It... All right. If we see any kind of, like, delay on login here... Redeemed wolf dip. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me locate the wolf nip and put everything together for that. Yeah, if this if this causes an extended connection time, um, where where it's like having me log in eternally or authentication looks like it's compromised in any way, I will shut this down and we will switch to a different game because I don't want to potentially lose everything to uh somebody trying to steal credit card numbers you know don't want that <sighs> okay messing with the accoutrement as uh where's diablo there you are as the dj buddy show would say Okay, it looks like I'm back in. Hopefully, uh, Firefox imploding on itself actually did something here. Like, some good. Let's also get that launched back up, though, because I do need to be able to monitor my own stream. On your relax basis. Oh, no, there's... I mean... This is doing its own thing. It looks like we are back up and running. OBS says that we're good. I... Actually, now that I look... There's the square. There's the little green square that everybody wants. <laughs> uh, no, I appreciate the, the opportunity, actually, to take a, a short break here. Um... We're going to go ahead and do like a five minute on stream break and just kind of enjoy the ambiance for a moment. I need to take care of my body. 
And I, I appreciate the reminder to, to, you know, make use of that wolf net. Local herbal remedies. Especially being right in the middle of the Iron Wolves encampment. Seems seems fitting. We we just uh <laughs> We just saved somebody's bag of herbal remedies, so Okay. I'm also still learning like what's what's protected here. I I gotta say that as far as um Blizzard's internal like we're gonna show you messages that are incoming from a completely different application like i'm getting discord notifications discord and diablo do not like each other but i'm getting discord notifications that are popping up at a different part of the screen so diablo is fully aware that discord is there and is placing those notifications there but obs is actually blocking that from showing up in the stream which i super appreciate And my rolling paper reversed itself. How did we manage this? Hopefully that stays together. I'd have, I have no idea if it will. Might just explode in my hands. Speaking of explosions, I hope everybody has, uh, or at least in, in, you know, North America, has a fairly safe and relaxed upcoming holiday uh, for those that do celebrate. And for those that don't, like me, stay safe. Enjoy some quiet time when you can. And uh, enjoy some music when things get loud. Plus 75 at the end of that. I don't know if I've been to that one. Delightful. I don't even remember what this one is. Gelati? Gelati Mint. Yep, the Explodey Holiday is already coming up. Um... So yeah, be be safe, be sane, uh, stay at home if if you need to, and if you need to get out of the forest, you know, go do that. I, I don't blame anybody for that one. Speaking of, neighbors' dogs have not been having a good time with that. Like they're even more like high strung than usual, and I just have to be like, same bud. I get it. I get it. Okay, let's see. Where are we heading to next? More value than gold. The Iron Wolves water supply has been poisoned. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. There's a frog. Little frog. Little frog. Little frog. Little frog. 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 These trees. I just want to like reach over and touch one. I know that most of these are like palms and, and grass. Oh look, a horse. Why not? Shouldn't you be at your post? I can see it from here. I can see it from here. You know that's valid. Uh, could the bandits have done this? Bandits hate the Iron Wolves enough to kill us, but they don't act if they don't profit. I see no profit in poisoning the only water source in Dalgur. Only suffering. What's wrong with the oasis? Something in the water is making us sick. Some have died. Both wolves and civilians in our care. It's poison, I'm telling you. The bandits want to wipe us out. We hmm. have to find the source, regardless. Wanderer, would you meet me south of here? I want to check the shoreline. Okay. What about me? Back to your post before the captain sees. Yeah, Daywood. Mm. You're in enough trouble taking me on a giant adventure to go murder a bunch of paladins. 
Look at this horse. Is she actually watching? Hello. Hello. No, no, no. I want to pet the turtle. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to scare you. I just... It's really hard to control Greetings. its character. Hello. Okay. I guess I can't pet the turtle. To the shore south of here. Okay. More value than gold. Sadia. I found a body in the water the other day. It was so big, bloated like a ball. <laughs> Are you okay? I wish I could just jump off that, but I guess I wouldn't want to hurt the horse. Goodbye, little scorpion. That's a lot of... She's just out here murdering people left and right as she's on her way. Oh, damn. Low on energy. That iron wolf just died right in front of me. I could have saved them and I didn't know that they were... I thought that was a player. I'm so sorry. Uh Asa, why did you find anything? I can find no source from the shore. The poison seems to flow in from under the water. Let's keep looking. I need more energy. Whatever that did, it hit me hard right before it died. <laughs> Collapse the tunnel. So much for quietly. The rocks look loose. Would you mind? Not ready yet. How long are we gonna stay here? These weeks. Intruder! have enough energy. Oh. Demon maggots? This is the poison they're feeding us? We must find every cage. Destroy them all. I need time to do that. They had two bows inside of it. I need time to do that.
This place is... They actually decorated it differently, and I'm, I'm still kind of like taking it all in. This is a different environment than a lot of the other dungeons, where they've not just put in different set pieces, but combined set pieces they weren't before. I love these candles. Like, this is stuff that I would expect to see in the Chancery. Also, greater healing potion from uh, Diablo 1. Love that. The bucket of bones. There's like mushrooms and stuff growing on the walls and bugs crawling all over them. Like these little set pieces are so freaking cool. Also, the, I want to point out that like, based on what I understand of mycology, uh, those those are wood eating mushrooms. Those look like wood ear of some sort, and yet they're growing on a rock wall. There's some sort of like plant material in the soil here, or decaying material that is akin to plant material or fibrousness. Maybe they're eating oil or petrochemicals. Delicious rock. Because <laughs> we are also near the tar pits here, so I don't know what <laughs> what the fungus of sanctuary would necessarily eat. There's some more of it though. It's got gills on the bottom of it, too. It's very wet. It's all growing around that one rock. Do you think there's, like, a caloric value to potions? Like, can you just live off of a potion? Painted pestilent host. Any more time. You're spooky. I need more energy. I need more time. Ah! Weird bug things everywhere. I hate them. I hate the bugs. Like, bugs are cool in the physical layer. I think they're incredibly necessary for biodiversity and making everything run in our world, but bugs in this game are all demonic and grody. <laughs> they're wet and look infected in a bad way. Like, as a person who has actually farmed beetles and crickets before, these bugs don't look healthy. <laughs> And when I see, like, wood beetles walking around, I can tell you whether or not they've got a lung infection. <laughs> it's weird the things that you can teach yourself by just reading a lot. That's a very pretty ring. Hold on. That's a very pretty ring. I want to see if it remotely matches the icon. It doesn't. Wait, what? Oh. Q? Stop tracking that. Q? More value than gold. Killed. Okay. See, if I had seen that. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I think that's all of them. But what do cutthroats know of demons? We're missing something. We certainly are. Let's go figure that out. Ow. Everything's so gross in here. 
<sighs> okay. Also, we hit a follower goal today. Well, actually, technically last night. Uh, thank you, Soap Suds, for being number 150. You, you've officially hit the number where we've tripled what I needed to get for affiliate. And, uh, I wasn't quite sure before what I wanted to do for the celebration for it. Like, I still intend on keeping to the thing of making a new, um, outfit or avatar edit of some sort, maybe doing a hairstyle kind of deal. But, I think what I actually want to do, since we had... I had recently gone into a uh, conversation with somebody else and just die, so the strong may rise. Oh, Short stories, remind me at the end of this. Oh, he's stuck. Love that. Low on energy. I need more time. Give me more boss fights like this, where the boss just keeps summoning more stuff for me to blow up around the target. Like, this is great. I like this. More of this, please. Nice. Why would the Triune want to kill the Iron Wolves? The weak must die, so the strong may rise. Iron Wolves devote our lives to protect and shelter the weak. We are in the bastard's way. I found this medallion. Let's take a look at it. Bound to the tunnels beneath the oasis, a weathered stone affixed on a simple metal chain. An occultist symbol has been carefully carved onto the stone surface. That's a really cool symbol. I found this medallion. This man was Triune. Light forsaken Triune. I've seen their medallions before, while repelling them from our borders. And now they're here. Working with bandits to poison and kill our in wolves. Meet me back at camp. Quick as you can. Okay. Ooh. Oh, only against vulnerable. Plus two attack speed, though. That could be pretty nice. The damage to injured enemies kind of outweighs that by a lot. Uh, let's see. S two R. So yeah, the other day I got into a conversation with somebody, and um, I don't know why, but I decided that I wanted. Oh, I just I wanted to read something out loud to just like an example of voice and what I could do with it, and. Uh, even though I've got the Diablo books right here in front of me and like plenty of opportunity to mess with my voice all I wanted with that, I went and pulled up my old Instagram. And for those that aren't aware, I, I have a slice of life blog that um, before I did streaming stuff, uh, I would post my art there. And I used to teach like acrylic pour painting and spray painting specifically. I, I was uh, like, I think it was three nights a week and then it was just every Wednesday or something like that but like I, I did a lot of experimentation and studied how and why and if you would like to learn how to do acrylic pouring like it's free information there's absolutely like a collegiate level amount of data there for you to pick up and be able to do amazing things on your own a uh, number of my students actually have started doing acrylic pours on their own from what they learned from me and have been able to make some really cool stuff that really surpasses what I can do. And it makes me super happy to see that. Like, uh, I love seeing everybody's gross. Anyways, moving beyond that. With each painting that I was doing for a while, I still felt as though I wasn't quite using up the artistic energy that I had. And so I started writing short stories that were 
around the same time that I was still consistently doing D and D, uh, and I was DMing. Right? It's it's important that the student surpasses the teacher. Like, get better, learn, and the teacher should accept that. Like, the teacher can learn from the student then. <laughs> uh, shoot, what was I saying? Oh. With uh, each painting, I started writing short stories, and they were, uh, some of them are set in, like, a sci-fi setting that's kind of like a, a Star Trek-ish universe, but it's my own flavor, and uh, some of them are set in a, an actual continuous story inside of a D&D &D milieu, uh, and in each chapter focuses on a different character that is inside the same world. It's... It's taken so long to really accept this, but it's basically written as an extension of Sanctuary. And so, maybe that's what we'll do at the end of the evening today, um, is I'll go through and read some of my stories about my Huntress. Not not the one, not, not this person here. Uh, she's cool. She really is. But she's not Sarah Sakil. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's continue the story here. Oh, we're heading over this way. Pradad. Wait, you captured a bandit? Young Daywood caught this one. Uh, Daywood guarding his post, I might add. Uh-huh. Bastard says the Triune have a hideout near Old Dur's cave. By some pillar, he says. But he won't tell me how to get in. I told you. The Triune don't let us in. We're just hired muscle. How do the Triune enter the hideout? You have to be Triune. No one gets in without a medallion around their neck. Ah, a medallion? Like this one? Yes, yes. That's it. Listen, that's all I know. You let me go, right? Be still. Why should we believe you? I'm no demon worshipper. Just figured it was better to take their coin than get in their way. I go back now. They'll know I talked. Helping you is the only play I've got. I mean, that is true. You can stay here and die, or you can leave and die. I, I don't see really how you're making your way out. Might want to start talking to some of the folks around here, though. They might find some solutions for you. Hey, son. That medallion should be the key. The medallion gives us a chance. But it's a hell of a risk. Captain? How many bandits guard this hideout? How many Triune? And how long till they march on Dal Gur? Their poison has already weakened us. We might not get another chance. Uh, Asa... Take Daywood and our friend here and scout for this hideout. Should you see an opening to strike, take it. Aye, Captain. I... About damn time. I'm gonna have to keep these two alive. Like, they're very much capable of fighting on their own, but I also just watched another Iron Wolf just fall on the way here. Uh. Oh, new puppy. Greetings. <laughs> oh wait, we have all this equipment that needs needs be rid upon Akra. I need yeah, all right, let's go over this way. There's 
How is this bow that I have so high damage compared to the rest? Also, uh, those extra levels of Shadow Step actually make this so much you better. Yes, you know, I'm aware. Stay a while and listen. Terrible Guard. Yeah, I'm going to put on the chest armor named Terrible Guard. That seems like a Don't really intelligent decision works, to make. Huh? <laughs> Sunken Library. Guardians of the Pit. Slay skeletons to draw out the champion. And also speak... Oh, we need to go over there first. That's a lot more pressing. Giant skeleton, yeah, big scary. They're in a tar pit. They'll be fine. We'll we'll come back to that later. What if this was a front system? What if like me going to to deal with this this water poisoning issue is just like another front that I have to deal with, and then the skeleton's gonna become so much bigger and turn into a dreadlord and summon its own army, and then it's gonna not matter that I save the water source because there's gonna be zombie skeletons everywhere. Fronts. I love D&D. Well, I love uh, tabletop RPG gaming because D&D as, as an enterprise and a property has ruined D&D. Did you run into trouble? Just a bandit patrol. We handled it quietly, but the canyon is crawling with them. Guess we're in the right place. We go in. Remember, we're looking for a pillar that marks the Triune hideout. Move fast, kill quickly. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Out of energy! <laughs> Head of the snake. Find the pillar. Okay. This is the largest party I've had in this game that, like, for single player. Oh, I can hear my own computer over the... Oh, I'm so sorry, folks, that you're having to hear that. Yeah, we'll we'll be getting a new microphone soon. It should be coming in later this week. <laughs> then you won't have to hear the, uh, my little aircraft of a laptop starting up. Get a new baffle on the mic, cover up some of the, the sound of me smoking as well. Looks like we found the pillar, too. There. Looks like a pillar to me. No door. No opening. You've done it. All right. Weapons ready. Follow me. I'm kind of curious if I actually turn down the um, the game further. If that would actually fix it.
I need more time. That's amazing. They're being killed by the floor trap. Not even me. Just the floor trap. Oh, that is that is so good. I love that. Like, that's something that they advertised as a major thing in Diablo 3, is that you'd be able to use active uh, hazards in the world and be able to use that to take out monsters. And instead, you ended up with essentially only Act 1 and a couple of other choice castle areas where you could drop either a chandelier or knock over part of a wall, and that was it. And, like, I get that this is just yet another one of those assets, but, like, this is something they could have added to that. Looking critically at, at game development side of things, since... Every one of these options is a thing that they could have put in uh, since StarCraft with the map We've editor. Oh no. Daywood. Bloody demons. Uh, have they set them on that gore? We stopped them. Everyone is safe. Can you walk? <laughs> Damn it! I can't. It's all right. I'll carry you back to camp. Get you to the healer. Wonder. I'm sorry with no time for thanks. Meet us in Dalgur when you can. Get out then. Go. Okay. Uh, this room isn't safe. Jagged symbols litter the page. You feel a dark pressure emanating from the paper. The cauldron is filled with the same acrid liquid from the caves. The gas rising from the bubbling liquid stings your nostril and burns your lungs. Crates of poison line the walls. There seems to be enough here to poison the oasis ten times over. Run over the scorpions because I hate the scorpions. Hi. I got a paragon point for that. That's the other reason that my character feels so powerful, is we got that additional 20% on top of everything else. Final multiplier damage. <laughs> oh, we fought Scorpion Nine Eyes. Nine Eyes. Pile of coins? A wish from a simpler time when these waters held magic, not bodies. Aww.
How is Daywood? Daywood is... He is in good hands with our healer. He'll live. As will the people we protect here. Thanks to you all. Wanderer. We can't thank you enough. You will always be welcome among the Iron Wolves. It is because I, the Green Glow Dog. He said he wanted to speak with you. Oh, it's the smoke in front of the camera. <laughs> Dog and the wolf pup, come to join the pack. So do you think... Do you think if I, uh... If I go back to that place, Daywood's gonna be, like, fighting 20 of those guys right now? Like, does anybody else remember the Darcel thing? <laughs> Daywood, it's good to see you alive. <laughs> I've looked better. At least I don't have to stand at my post. Healer says I may not stand again. There's oh, another poor no. soul for the Iron Wolves to protect. Well, <laughs> see about that. But in case he's right, I want you to take my armor. Continue my fight for me. Amen. Oh, day one. Your armor will ride. A wolf song. Reward. 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 Iron Wolf. Iron Wolf. I got it. It is really sad and sweet. I, I I feel bad for being that excited about the title, but come on! <laughs> uh, they shouldn't have shown me that, like, after that moment. Hey there, Bucky! How's it going? <laughs> To Iron Wolf, I I honestly love the title. So, I'm a sister of the Sightless Eye, and I'm an Iron Wolf now. Like I, these were the goals that I set out for when I made this character. Like I don't even care about the campaign. I don't care about any of the other progression having anything to do with. This is what I came here for. This is why I got the game. This is why I was like, I want to learn more about the story. They actually put the stuff in here necessary for me to be able to do so. Like, it's... It's so cool. It's so cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Let's go fight a giant skeleton. Of these I have to find. Oh, they took away my build. Ah, they didn't. <laughs> I can still shadow step across entire cliffs.
I need more time. Kill 45 monsters in how many seconds? Belligerent Ravager. That's a heck of a title. We can now be Belligerent Wolf. Wait, have I not made that a redeem yet? I need to get on that. Oh, the skeleton is summoned. Let's go fight it. Hmm? Hmm. What? Time. What? Champion of the Tar Pits. Well, you're an interesting fellow. I don't have enough energy. Is that it? Thanks. Hello. Yeah, I appreciate that. <sighs> I'm still choked up about, like, actually being accepted as a member of the Iron Wolves. <laughs> Sucks that this guy had to get hurt. Wow, it isn't just like Daywood's, it's just legit Iron Wolf Curus. Dozens of small metal plates are bound together, granting flexibility without sacrificing protection. Many of the plates have names etched into them, perhaps of those who wore this armor before you. I'm curious what this looks like. I killed the champion of the pits. Ah, well done. That's one less problem to worry about. Okay. True. Thanks for the box of random goodies. Here's some animal skins for you. Enjoy! <laughs> okay. Is there... There's nothing left in Gaia? Cool. Nothing, nothing, wait. Really? Oh, that's, that's a blood zone. That's why it's like that. The only cure, still to figure out that one. And... Jagal says this jealous merchant stole his beloved goat, Tuji. The merchant was heading toward Karayasu. Yeah, highlight all of them, please. Or not, I guess. Raising Spears. Find the missing relic hunter. And there's a... Well, let's do... Let's see here. We're at the two hour mark. Let's do some actual, like, storyline, storyline. Uh, I think we're supposed to... It's a... Just to enter the Herodic Vault of Mistral Woods. Interesting. So we're going back to the Fractured Peaks for a little bit. Um, 
I know I said that I was going to go to Scotsman for for the rest of the uh, for like towards the end of spring, but I think I want to read. So for now, let's go do the Herodric Ball. To the Yelasna. <laughs> From the desert sands to the howling plains, welcome to the Patrick Peaks. It's a lot colder up here. Hope you wore your heavy armor that you got made fun of for wearing in the desert heat. Speaking of, is there... there's no wardrobe here. There's a blacksmith that can break some things down. Ooh, have you seen some crunch? Or is just loading new stuff? Good self -start. I don't think I wanted to do that dagger. I almost messed up. Like, I did mess up with that one, but I... I almost messed up with this. Okay. Everything's good. Upgrade... That farmer... Nice. It just has inherent thorns. Not bad. That's so cool. What sucks is if I decide to imbue that armor, it goes away. Like, it doesn't get to keep the the graphic, it doesn't get to keep anything. I'm curious how well I've... let's see. What's this look like? Oh, right, it won't show because I have wardrobe mode on. Alright, well, we'll continue. We'll look at the armor later. I am busy. Stop biting me. I am busy. I am going places. I am busy. Get out of my way. <laughs> wow, this place has seen better days. the point. Donna! Have you found your things? I haven't even gone in yet. We have an intruder. Uh-oh. It's not like that. <laughs> She's but a child. Oh, okay, yeah. You brought a child? Here? It was she who brought me. She's ten times a Herodrum you are anyways. Let's go. Nerel, I'm back. What have you learned? Watch where you swing that stuff. It's not a toy. Who is he? He once lived in this vault. The one you're trespassing in. Explain yourself. I'm a student. Conducting research on the Haradrim. What's left of you all, anyway? A student, huh? You have a teacher? Don't tell me Lorat has taken another apprentice. I don't need that a that teacher one. to study. Lilith! Oh, Lilith threatens sanctuary as we speak. I need to prepare for that. Oh, with oh. Or without. The heart. Got it. You against Lilith? Also, hi, Padawan Ashna. Well, I came to get my things. I pray they were free from your meddling. <laughs> He's so sassy. Like, buddy, you haven't been in here in literal decades, and you're upset. Like, uh, I guess, it, yeah, things did just go really bad for Donnan. But still, still. <laughs> yeah. So, like, at some point we're going to have to, like, 
do a, a, a bit of a push to try and get more emotes active on here because I have way, way more emotes than I have slots. Like, I, I went way too far <laughs> when I made my initial set. <laughs> and it gives me time to actually go back and, like, redo some of them, and maybe that's part of what I, I need to focus on after hitting this little mile, ma mile marker. I have to set a whole new goal now, and I don't even know what that goal is going to be just yet, but, like, we blew this one out of the water, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone who's helped out with it. Seriously, I I couldn't have got this far without you. Thank you. Okay. Manifestations of the Primevals. A dusty tome bound in thick red hide. The Primevals may be subdued, but they can never be ended. Even from their home in the Hells, they can still influence our world. Walk it unseen. When weakened, they've been known to take the form of strange animals. A one-eyed owl, a wingless bat, or a wounded wolf. Aww. Everybody's being so sweet to each other. Donnan is just smashing stuff back there. Many of the notes here deal in mathematics and astronomy. Each page is lined with commentary on star charts and prophecies. Huh. <laughs> I used to be like that thing. I had more dreams than I knew what to do with. Let me unseal this. Ah, this one's your magics. Ah, oh, kid. Just beat him. Okay. The stone will need to be attuned to Lilith before Lorath marches up to her. It won't hold her well otherwise. I put together some notes on the process before I left. I've been side questing for so many episodes, I actually forgot that this is where we were in the story. Like, we, we've we fought Elias. I need to do recaps at the beginning of my episodes more often, too, for my own sake. Just because, like, again, side questing. I did my big side quest. I, I did my big quest line. I'm a puppy. Uh, hi there, Koi. How you doing, hon? So, yeah, we, we fought Elias and won. Uh, although, he doesn't appear to be dead. Again. And... I guess that the plan with Lorath and Donnan now is that we're going to try and create our own soul stone? I don't know. This is... We're further along than I've been with any other character so far, so I'm kind of curious. You're cold? Aww. Hey, Donnan. Why is this door locked? Alongside the tools, a few scraps of paper cover the table, but there are never more than a few hastily scrawled sentences written on them. Lorat Elias and I will spend days on end cooped up in here. You just walk through that table. Debating. Nothing to hold us back but our own imaginations. And how much of each other we could tolerate. <laughs> That's a mood. Artistic differences. Huh. <sighs> It's good to see everyone. Books covered with meticulous notes. Scrolls featuring lengthy alchemical formula. Somehow you get the sense that everything is half finished. One project after another, abandoned in search of a new discovery. Chronicles of the New Horadrum, Part 1. Forgive my familiarity as I write. Harsh words better tell the tale of hard times. Maybe the end of those times nears. Our leader, the Archangel Tyriel, led us to this vault before setting off on a task of his own. Oh! He's entrusted me to lead. Thank you, Nova. <laughs> the rebirth Welcome, of the Raiders. Order is up to the few of us. We, we are listening to a little bit of storyline here, real quick. Oh, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Fox raid. <laughs> Fox Raid, Fox Raid, Fox Raid! Heck yeah! 
Welcome everyone, I am the Sandwipe, the green glow dog on the internet up here in the Game Mountains, Colorado. I'm a medical cannabis patient and don't often talk about what I do for my medicine because Twitch has decided to crack down on people about that. But if uh, you're into that kind of thing and that kind of stream, we've always got the Wolf Nipper Dean, so enjoy that. I did not expect that to rhyme quite so well, but it did. And uh, we do a lot of roguelikes primarily on this channel, but I'm a long, long, long running fan of Diablo 1. I grew up with the, or the original series, and um, it was one of my first, like, big um, RPGs that was critically acclaimed that I played a lot of. And so when the second one came out i i got into it but never quite like reached end game content i had other things to do i was you know a young teen at the time and with diablo 3 it just didn't really compare but for those that are unfamiliar diablo 4 feels the way diablo 1 did it's beautiful and it's so much fun and there's a lot of spoiler warning here um but i i'm a long-running fan so there's a lot of lore to be learned by just hanging out so i hope you all enjoy yourselves uh feel free to sit back and if you don't enjoy the rest of your evening thank you so much for dropping in you eat josh's car transmission <laughs> Every tool has been stored away with care, and the books have all been arranged by their proper subject. Tidy desk, the workplace of an orderly mind. Somebody else here actually, like, had their stuff together. I wonder which one that was. If it was Elias or Loras. Nice smelling fox ray. Damn right. Chronicles of the New Horadrum, Part 2. The mage Donan has proved to be a wonderful addition to our order. The man has knowledge in spades. Any topic, even the most mundane, becomes profound in his care. He challenges my perspective in a way few have. We've made solid discoveries in the short time we've spent together. I suspect many more to come. <laughs> Somebody want to explain this one to me? Is it? Donan. Why is your house bleeding? Donan. Donan, your house is bleeding. Donan, I think something's wrong with your house. Let's go see about fixing that. House casually bleeds. <laughs> first things first, Lorath will need my notes. Soulstone magic is treacherous, even in the most skilled hands. He just like rewrote that book with magic in an instant. That's so cool. It's really organic. It's free range house. <laughs> oh god. I, I kill myself apparently. Oh, with jokes, with jokes, jokes. I my my humor is lethal. <laughs> Tread carefully. We summon the spirit in here. You just lock the door on it? Lorak assured me that he banished it for good, but I've always had my doubts. Just throw a blanket over it. What if I don't use any of my abilities and I just stand here and hold left click? I just want you folks to know that I try to make it look good when I'm fighting with this character. Because that is how I could pl play otherwise. <laughs> Donnan, did we just open this door for the sake of killing that guy? I don't appreciate that. Damn spider. 
What? You somehow, you somehow summon the frost spiders from Skyrim. I mean, I get that this is a mage's academy, but this is a little out of hand. There's a reason that your guilds keep getting shut down. Hatred. That's the essence Lorath will need for the attunement. Well, I got plenty of hatred for you. I kept a map. Somewhere. Uh, here. All the places Mephisto's hatred yet lingers. Okay. There's just one last thing. You can open this door, so I can understand whatever you just hid behind this one too. Simple in design, but crafted with care. Hmm. Apparently that doesn't work. Is that your Herodric amulet on the table, or are you just happy to see me? Yes. I bet Lorath still wears his. The Order's mission was his lifeblood. Yeah, he actually does. For it. Not like him. I wanted to be a man. <coughs> I left to chase family. Fellowship. Glory. And for what? You saw how that ended. My son. I can't do it. It wouldn't work anyway. Darnan. You don't understand. The stuff soul stones are made of, they're old as the eternal conflict itself. With magic so primordial, you need fire. You need spirit. I have none. What you lack in faith, you have in allies. Who? You? Yes. You're the only one who can help us. <laughs> Unfortunately, you may be right. I mean, you're pretty uh, angry, right? I can't make any promises. Really. But I can try. <clears throat> For you two? N just us two? I'll try. Not the rest of the world? Let's hear what the old man has to say. Or your entire city that you're the mayor of? How about the whole countryside that thinks you're a hero? Like, maybe those people care too. Donnan, you are so sassy. What else we got here? What other things have you done over here? Not not gonna tell me? Okay. I gotta say, this thing is freaking sick. Why don't I get the option to look at this in 3D? Like, they, they have some of the spots where you can, like, press F to look. And they kind of took away a lot of those. I think that I only really saw them in, in Act 1, and maybe they're gonna add them later in future updates to this, but, like, if I was gonna pick a spot as a person creating this game for a thing that, like, took a lot of time to animate and a lot of time to put in all the details for I would probably be pretty happy if Sony put an F button right here so I could go look at this thing you know <laughs> ooh like wasn't there a recent new Dark Crystal movie as well Oh, we were supposed to talk to Narelle. You know, let's let's see what's over here. I'm see, I'm I'm curious. Well, that's interesting. 
can't interact with it in any way whatsoever, but it's there. And I've, I've already read all these things. <clears throat> there was a series. I don't know. I, I don't know if there actually was... Oh, okay, so there was a uh, reboot of the concept. That stuff is interesting to me, because, like, I... Supposedly, like, pre-actual cognizant era of my own data retention and memory, apparently I watched Fraggle Rock as a little girl, but I don't remember. What I do remember is Eureka's Castle. Like, I watched a lot of Canadian puppet programming... Narelle, what? <laughs> yeah, what have you been up to? Been, have you heard the things coming down the hall? I, the expl I guess you're kind of used to the explosions at this point. Oh, she's literally high on information. You're familiar with Kalha's work? She's brilliant. One of my favorites. Mine as well. Have you read her treatises? Uh, never mind. You can tell me on the road. <laughs> on the road. I'm mm -hmm. going to help you. I know the Haradrim's ways. Your magic. Even that coded writing <sighs> system you use. And, and don't tell me it's too dangerous. Lilith? That's a good speech. Might even convince the man you should be telling it to. Come on. I'm headed to him. <laughs> but your Haradrim, isn't this your vault? It was once. Now, I suppose time will tell. Did you find what you were looking for inside that vault, Nerel? I've only scratched the surface, but that will have to be enough. Lilith won't be stopped by studying alone. True. Donan, are you going to reseal the vault now that we, uh, I don't know, cleaned up a little, I guess? No, I don't think I will. If we fail, what would it matter with all these secrets stay buried? I mean, like, the information's protected down here, at least at... Uh, it would require another Haradrim to come here and open it back up. Or brute force. I mean, I, I don't actually know what happens if you break the locks in here without uh, properly opening the seals. Maybe the whole place collapses in on itself, but my understanding is uh, the usual Haradric magic is it causes madness? Something of the sort? And if, if you're of the correct fortitude anyways, it doesn't matter. Like, you're just going to walk through it as it is. So, hard to say, bud. Uh, I, I'd say you might want to protect the average person and not have them go completely crazy trying to open this door and just have it properly sealed, complete with all the, the radioactive glow so that they know it's a bad thing. But if you think the world's just going to end anyways, and I don't know. How many people do you think lived here during this, is, this place's heyday? Us three, Horadrim, Elias, Laura, myself, and an angel, Tyrael. An angel? Like wait, Inarius. wait, what? Very different from him, fortunately. Tyrael set off before Elias did. I don't know what drew him away, but I could tell he was afraid. Oh, yeah. We fell apart after he left. That's insane. Just is is he? Wa I need to know what happened. Please tell me that that's in one of the books that I have here. What is the soul stone then? It is a curse, the bane of the Haradrim, but also our greatest <clears throat> weapon. There's nothing like it in existence. The first Haradrim, 
Use the uh. soul stones to contain Diablo, Mephisto, and Bale. Yeah, we know how well that went. But such power comes at a cost. Well, what's the cost? A soul stone must always be guarded. It consumes your days, your dreams. You become a prisoner just as much as the demon contained in the stone. And despite your efforts, the evil eventually finds a way to break free. Even so, I know of no better way to contain a demon. I wish I did, though. Hmm. It's interesting to think that, like... I'm not sure, after all this time, what the proper, and I mean truly, the proper application of a soul stone is supposed to be. Is it meant to be a rock that hangs out on a shelf and is guarded? Like the way that the black soul stone was guarded by uh, Tyrael and the rest of the Brotherhood? Or is it supposed to be actually put into a person's body who has the willpower necessary to personally fight that demon for however long their constitution lasts? At which point, their body then becomes the vessel of that demon. So, the stronger the vessel, the stronger the demon, and it becomes a never-ending loop of self-empowering. I'm not sure, because that's, that's the way that Prince Aiden decides to resolve things on his own. And it's the way that the Haradrim decided to try and imprison both Mephisto and Bale. I don't know. Way too dank. Uh-oh. Am I getting too loud? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Many theories. Yeah, we're hitting the part of the game where, like, it's gonna start throwing the big story stuff at me, and that's where I've got the big questions. Where are we supposed to go? Meet your allies at the Forsaken Chapel outside Tarsarak. Let's go to Kilvashad. Whoop, wrong button. I need to I need to put that armor away before I accidentally destroy it. Also, we're sitting just past the two-hour mark. I think that uh, once I finish with the wardrobe stuff, I'm going to go ahead and take a short five-minute break, stretch my legs, refill my water. I recommend you folks also do the same. Um, and yeah, once once that's done, about five minutes, we'll, we'll be back and continue the adventure. Also, we're probably going to be doing a little bit longer stream than usual just because I've got the constitution for it at the moment. And... Uh, once we're done with some of the gaming and storyline stuff here, I'm going to be doing some short story reading from my own personal writing. Hope you folks enjoy. If you think my theories are wild, wait till you hear my writing. Wait, what? Duplicate item detected. What just happened there? Also, do I need this? No, okay. Uh, Archon armor. No armor. Save. I don't know why I put this away, because I, I still want to look at it. So, the Iron Wolf's armor is just Archon armor. Isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, it is. It just doesn't have... Oh, there is minor differences here. Extra banding around the stomach. Whoops. 
No snake head on the side. An extra lower pauldron. I'm curious about the back. They really have like no protection on the back aside from the initial curious. That's interesting. Okay. We'll switch this back to the blue Archon. Actually, green. Wow, the green looks so pukey here. The gold is pretty. Let's see here, where are we going next? We're going into the swamp. I need to make certain that I actually stand out amidst all that, and I think the things are red and green there. So we'll do yellow. Okay, confirm look. I just want to make certain that folks that have uh, issues with tracking contrast are still able to see at least somewhat what's going on. I know that my uh, my character zips around the screen like a Jack Russell Terrier. Can't quite help that. And puppy got the zoomies. That being said, let's go ahead and go switch over to our Be Right Back screen. And we'll be back in about five minutes. I'll see you all shortly. I have decided to spoil myself with some pomegranate cranberry juice. Because I'm worth it. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, tasty. Girl from Ipanema. Do I know that song? I don't know if I know that one.
while we're at it, let's see. Cool, that doesn't actually show anything at the moment. Let's do an outfit change. Drop into something a little bit more cozy. Wow. Oh, what a weird pose for me to be in. There we go. Ah. Slip into something a little more comfortable. Demon slaying dress. Although I do have some armor I could put on too instead. It's waiting room or elevator music. Oh, okay. What is it? When <laughs> for the longest time I used to refer to like um, anything with a ba 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 kind of rhythm as shopping cart music. I don't know why shopping cart music was the way that my brain put the words together, but that's that's just what it is to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, so we're heading over... Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, we put the armor away? Good. Let's go, then. Into the desert. A meeting of the mines. We'll teleport to Tarsarak and then right across the desert. Oh, no. Crunchy Diablo. Diablo so crunchy. It's like that. <laughs> What blood edged spears? A destitute miner seeks a lost lockbox. Well, you know, while we're in the town, I guess we'll go talk to this fellow. Megid. Megid? What are you staring at? Meant no offense. You look like you know how to handle yourself. I could use your assistance. Okay. I worked the mines for a living until those pigs born bandits came. They slaughtered us, took everything. I barely made it out alive. By now, they've got the lockbox with all our wages in it. Good thing I took the key. <laughs> if you can bring me the box, I'll gladly give you a ship. Now that's silly. Stranded refugees are accosted by demons. We have so many side quests in this area, it is a little out of control. Oh, the golden armor looks really cool. I'm digging it. Okay, almost there. I need time to do that. Ah! Leave me be. I wish only to leave. Yeah. You Bye, horse. Right to call upon me. Soul stones are no trifle. True. Guys that don't and I remember. Ugh. I need air. I mean, I want to talk with you, Tyson. I... Yeah. What's... You didn't need to take your knives out, Sandwife. Jeez. Tyson, are you feeling all right? Uh, Aunt Ariel is getting louder. Screaming? Or laughing? I can't tell the difference. I tried to push her down, but being stuck in that cramped room. I just need a moment of quiet. Understood. I hope you get to feeling better. <sighs> okay. Mirel. What's going on? I'm still muddy on the details of this plan. 
the bones are there. Lilith aims to take Mephisto's power for herself. Before she can reach him, we use the soul stone on her. Preparing the stone will take time we don't have. Why don't we fight her? Who among us? You. Her corrupted blood still runs in your veins. No. Fighting her kind is always a last resort. Even if you could defeat her, she'd eventually come back. But a smarter weapon, the stone, would be up to the challenge. So stones usually fail, given enough time. It might not work. You can make it work. There's no one I trust more to do it. The wind is picking up. I can't... I can't see her. Taisa! I'll find her. Bloody hell. <sighs> oh, jeez. You're fumbling in the eye. Let me write to your little cap. You! If you hurt her... <laughs> hurt her? I elevated her. The runes inked into her skin form a waypoint. She is a beacon across realms. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Get her out of here. It matters not. Her part is done. Your part is done too. Savor your breath. One. Yo. Yo. Whoop. Whoop. Huh? No way. It's not just Andar. It's it is the same Andariel as in Andariel after getting wrecked by the uh, progenitor of the Nephilim. These things. So, Andariel, um, one of the five lesser evils, you know, the three prime evils, and the five lesser evils who make up most of the command force about a hundred years ago and uh, a few millennia before in hell. I have no idea how to fight her, I'm just like kind of doing this as I go. We've got some really cool area of effect attacks, but I'm kind of built for dodging, so. She casts Bone Spirit, which is one of the top level spells from Diablo 1. Necromantic Magic. Yeah, casual lore during crazy combat. That's, <laughs> that's me. Come back! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh! Oh no! Oh no no no! No no no! No! no. Ah! No! No 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 no! No no! <laughs> uh... I don't know how to fight you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just gotta hope. Oh, you have like wicked whip powers. That's so cool. Is though like uh, it's not just casual lore. The game doesn't do much to explain the fact that like yeah, she's a Dario and she's a lesser evil, but why she's I'm even here or why she's relevant to the average player? Uh, she is the Act One boss in Diablo Two. 
she happens to be somehow corrupting the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye at the time, slowly from the inside. And ends up uh, taking their ancient monastery for herself. But essentially, um, and I don't, I don't have the Diablo One lore books available to like read in the middle of a fight. But uh, at one point, Andario actually tried to take over the the Burning Hells herself, like on her own. She she pulled a Lilith. Okay, she's got a new new move set again. What do we got? We got more whips. We got big crunchy. We got multi spider. I love the spider arms. They're so cool. I always wonder because they're just like bone in D2. There's not a lot of detail that's necessarily available on such older graphics. Uh, definitely keeping in line with that whole sense that like the game is was originally meant to be claymation. I love that like no matter what, everything's gonna look good to me, uh, because I'm still expecting claymation. <laughs> and because I grew up with like single frame uh uh pixel games like Wizardry and Eye of the Beholder and Ultima, uh where the first person view was just a single picture and your party was represented by a hand. <laughs> you know, we're all gonna die. <laughs> I think it's, uh... I, I wouldn't want to necessarily... personally watch a show where somebody's like intensely yelling football style about what's going on. Aw, poor Andario. I hope nobody wakes you up again for a while. Get some good rest, lady. <sighs> you were really cool. <laughs> Rip bozo. <laughs> All right. These aren't relevant to story. Okay, so let's see. Grenade skills count as trap skills. And... Attack to reduce evade cooldown. That's pretty cool. Plus to movement speed after killing an elite. Huh. That one could be fun. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it, Unearth Unusual. Whoa! They didn't even know. But how did they not know? Laura, Elias summoned Andario. I put her down. She's gonna sleep for a while. Bloody hell. You finished the ritual from the volcano, then. Elias. That's the man who summoned Lilith. You're saying he summoned a lesser evil, too? Keep up, girl. Is Andario gone? Yes. And Elias? He fled. Before going to the States, Elias came to Hauser, took something that wasn't his. It's why I'm hunting him. I have a friend in Hauser who has mastered the art of immortality. Whoa. She might know his secret. Let me take you to her. I thought we were after Lilith, not Elias. Finding him may lead to her. And while we look for him, you'll have time to work on the stone. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Ah, damn it, I'll bite. On one of those rare occasions you gave me good advice. You said the answers you need are often in the place you least want to look. 
<laughs> it was you who said that. Huh. You're right. Let's get the horses ready. Aww. I'm gonna miss this place. It was a nice little base here, but hopefully it protects somebody else in the future. Be well, spirit of the well. Nero, what are you talking up? I I get that like they can only put so many animations in there, but it's like, isn't the same animation they use for me petting the dog? <laughs> Donnan. Did you know Elias well? I thought I did. He was Laura's student in the Order. It used to be just the three of us. He was young then. <clears throat> I guess we all were. His thinking was always radical. But I never thought... I never thought it would come to this. Okay. Tyson. You hunt for Elias. Is it personal? Huh. Not at first. But then he almost killed me. Marked my skin. Put a demon in my head. I will take pleasure from his death. That that's Bound valid, yeah. Soon be over. You've angered him. He will come to you. And I will be there when that happens. If fate allows, let it be my hand that ends him. Manipulate loop A. The others appear to be ready. Listen, I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, you did well. You stood against Andario, a lesser evil, and lived. That's no ordinary feat. But don't let it go to your head. The arrogance and foolhardy never last long in Hauser. Understood. I wonder what old Deckard Cain would have written in his chronicles if he'd seen old. Two old friends reunited. New allies eager to learn from our vast knowledge. Bound as one against the encroaching darkness like the Haradrim of old. They were probably lost and bitter, just like us. But Cain had a gift for seeing the good in people. One thing was certain, at least. Lilith meant to devour Mephisto and claim his power as her own. Had that been her goal all along? Not sanctuary, but a bid to reign in hell. And alas, oh, I can see the damned that. fool was too blind to see it. Perhaps we weren't <laughs> perfect. But we knew we had to make a stand. We were the world's only hope. Hmm. Act four complete. Eye of the storm. Kill forty five in eight seconds. Okay. The Nexus Star. The star beguiles. The threads of fate converge, but its story is not done. That that's that's a unique like there have been no other amulets in the entire game. The entire game that look like that. Nothing looks like that. And this is a yellow item. Not a gold. There, there is a difference, and we'll get to that when I actually get to uh, World Difficulty 4, but uh, we, we have to defeat World Difficulty 2 first, then I have to run through everything in 3, which is going to be a lot faster, because it's just going to be me grinding. Um, but at World Difficulty 4, we'll start seeing like the, the big fancy items that are a more shimmery version of these, that have even more enchantments on them. Some of them have uh, their own unique art that actually gets rendered in a unique manner in-game, which I absolutely love. And some of them completely change your character in in ways that are are so... I don't know. They, they change your build. You have to build your character around it. The way that I have uh, with my, my bow and trying to make certain that I have a build that's all matched up with the right skill set and everything... Not here at the end. 
Oh, yeah, not here at the end. That's because we're running an extended stream tonight. <laughs> Good to see you, Hunter. Thanks for dropping in. How's your day going? Um, shoot, what was I saying? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's let's see what the map has to say. The past divided. Meet your allies in Zarbenzet. And wait a sec. Oh, we're right here. Okay. Pretty chill so far. Good to hear. Shoot, I legitimately like have completely lost my entire train of thought on what I was rambling about there, but uh let's let's ride south. <laughs> <laughs> Now I must say, uh, let's let's pay attention to. You know what? Out of out of curiosity, in my head. Let's let's pay attention to how long this takes to ride here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. This will give me enough of a measure here. Okay, so we've made it about uh, a third of the way there, roughly. I've been trying to figure out, like, just how far time and space are compressed in the, the world map and, like, when you go from place to place. And if you think about, like, how often mechanically... Short Sword, not sure if someone else reminded me. Short story. Short story. Ah, yes. Uh, I will be doing so. I, I do have plans for short stories still. Um, but we won't we won't actually be ending at the three hour mark. We're going to be running a little bit longer tonight. Uh, also, in order for me to do so, I'll have to take a break first, just so that I can pull up my short stories because they were all stored on my old laptop, and they did not get moved. So. I think the only way that I have that I'm going to be able to, like, easily read them, of all things, is going to my own Instagram and reading them from the comments section. Because <laughs> that's where they're stored. The lore is stored in the comments section. Ooh. I'm actually out of Whispering Keys? you got to be kidding me. I do have plenty of obols, so I could go buy one right now. Let's do that. It's gonna get cool. <sighs> I really wanted to stream yesterday, but I was just like so brain dead, it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> Obols. I need obols. Purveyor of curiosities. Occultist. Wait, that's the occultist. Where's the purveyor of curiosities? Up there. Okay. Huh. Wrong way. I'm not from this town, you can tell. A poor camel. Oh, you're over there. Excuse me. Foster. I need some things. Streaming is so... Uh, I mean, like... I really enjoy uh, getting the opportunity to share my time with everyone. I just don't want to waste their time. <laughs> I want to make certain that what I'm doing is at least interesting. So we're still, we are still looking for a new bow, but I also know that I need to be looking for uh, higher level items in general for the rest of this outfit. Most of it's like level 40 or so. I guess we could actually go for a new bow still. Bat, 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 bat. I can't afford that. Nope. That's it. Give me another key. Let's go. I guess you buy things. Yes. 
The game is on. Well, I mean, kind of. Oh, unable to sell to this vendor. Sure? I, I mean, you're the one that told me you wouldn't buy it. I'll go sell to the jeweler who, for some reason, keeps fencing all of the random goods covered in mercenary blood. Couldn't say why. Oh, I was like, wait, is that the palace? Is the palace open? But the palace is not open. That's not the palace. <laughs> Dan, you're sweet. Thank you. What? Huh? How do I keep picking up my own armor by clicking on... That's the second time tonight I've clicked on this here and somehow just picked up a suit of armor. Blue items. Let's see. Give me one of these. Uh, how is it's a little crunchy? Okay. Let's uh, restart Diablo real quick because I'm noticing it's got that memory leak issue. And then suddenly my VTuber is all smooth and silky. It's amazing what Diablo does here for your laptop. It just, ah, all the extra heat generation you could possibly want. You know, you can warm your pastries. You can keep your coffee hot. You can completely lock up your stream. Uh... <laughs> wow, it is taking a second to dump that one. Hmm. Oh, are we back? We're back? Okay. Good. Let's boot that back up. And we'll continue the story. Ah. So part of the reason that I'm using the background that I am right now... Actually, part of the reason I'm using the background I am right now is because we're in the desert, but I just realized we're leaving the desert. I can actually change the background. Please replace your trays to the original upright position. In the event of an actual emergency, there will be important information displayed to the bottom of your puppy. Remember, this is only a test. Not available in all 50 states, you can see sort for details. <laughs> At the tone, the current time will be 53 miles per hour. Beep! We're back in Tarsarak somehow. I had to ride such a weird route to get out of here. here. Sorry! That's probably exactly why I'm not allowed to do that in town. Just kick random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the concussive thump of my horse hitting that. <laughs> I hate those scorpions so much. They're such jerks. Oh. So, we've exited the, the uh, space that was mainly run by the Vigerai of Caldium and the old ones of well, also Caldium and of the Haradrim. And now we are walking into the lands of the Zakarum. These are the people that Mephisto ended up taking over. And uh, I think it's actually part of the driving force as to why King Leoric ended up like defining that he wanted to march to, to Westmarch, the place that he ended up naming that, uh, and annexed the entire western continent in the process, was because supposedly he wanted to spread the good word of the Zakarum Church. Ooh. 
scorpions in the boots is always so sketchy. Um, I've never lived in a place where I absolutely had to check, like, every single time, but there are some places, like, when I go, when I've gone camping, I go out into the underbrush, and there's, there's spots where, like, you absolutely tip over your, your boots and your, your clothes and your bed clothes before, like, climbing inside because other folks from the forest may have gotten inside. You never know what fun, what friends you might find inside your boots, your pants, and your sleeping bag. <laughs> so the environment just drastically changed. You have really pretty pale flowers here. So in my estimate of how long it, how much time is constrained and crunched and all that, I would think that like in overworld distance, um, 30 seconds is roughly equivalent to 90 days. I'm not, that's actually probably a little short. It's probably closer to like half a year, but um, can't say. I know that the wander the dark wanderer traveling on foot with a camel so Prince Aiden going to Loot Golane from West March somehow managed to do so in a matter of like six months on his own. But he was also walking nonstop, never stopping anywhere, never sleeping, never eating, and empowered by demonic energy, so probably walking much faster than normal. We have so much exploration to do here, and I'm like, I want to go continue the story, but there's so much exploration to do here. Oh, don't like that. You know, I should probably clean up over here. There's, there's a lot of cultists over here. Hey everybody! Welcome to my party. I'm inviting all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody get together. Let's all dance. Woo! I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough energy. Ooh, what's this? Aw, oh, I knocked it over. <laughs> I wanted to look at that. Okay, there's something over here that I don't care for. It's most likely just another one of the uh, strongholds. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, all of you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Moving on. What's this? Event join. Call the wicked. Enter the unholy altar. Unholy altar? Slay all enemies. Is this one of those ones where it's a stronghold where if I just kill everything, I, I win? Because that would be nice. I like those ones. I don't like the ones where it's like, fight this giant boss. Out of energy. Any more time. Or do an entire dungeon on top of clearing out the area. Like, those ones kind of... It feels redundant. Hello, hello, hi, hello, hi. Goodbye, hello, bye. Ah. Ooh. Kind of curious about that. Double moon. Double crescent moon facing a opposing directions. What's the... What's the... Oh, no! As an archaeologist, I'm disappointed in my bow for shooting that down. Whoa. Hi. Hello. Fiery succubus. You know what? Same. But yeah, I wonder what that symbol is supposed to represent. The Namir Highlands. Oh.
You got a drop? Hell yeah. Wait, Dan, do you have a... Do you even have Diablo 4? <laughs> I don't remember. At least this time I actually called it Diablo 4 because this entire time I keep calling the game Diablo 3 and it's not. But Diablo 3 was so not Diablo 3 that the... <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I don't have enough energy. Call the wicked. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. No, I can't slow down. Can't hold back, no, you know, I wish I could. No, there ain't no rest for the wicked until we close our eyes for good. Ah. Uh... A crit strike chance has been really helping me, but the basic skills attack speed has been really nice. Maybe 10 or so battle bit drops so don't ever or will ever get them. <laughs> I think that as long as you link your account for Diablo, you'll still get them as, as the transmogs, because, like, that's all they are is transmogs. But some of them have been really nice, honestly. Like, I really like the the Azure Hand Dagger. It's when I haven't enjoyed the aesthetic of the current dagger that I'm using, I've really enjoyed that transmog. It's been nice. Uh, I do like the idea of branching volleys, but I don't even use Barrage. Also, that wasn't even... This is telling me there's still something here that I'm missing. And I wish I could do it. I guess I'll have to figure that out later. The price ever goes down. Yeah, you know, that's, that's also very valid. They'll probably have some sort of battle chest at some point, and, uh... Come with like the season five pass. I mean, look, look at Skyrim. They're almost on their tenth anniversary edition, and they're still releasing it like it's a brand new game. Oh, the city actually looks substantial on the map. Well used roads. A monastery. Or just a very large house. Oh, the houses here are huge. What the Fallout Wastelander armor are you wearing, bud? You look like you got 55 gallon drums welded to your shoulders. Where is your sense of class and style? <laughs> Prayer station. A lone lit candle sits amongst a sea of empty votive holders. Some still hold the faith close to their hearts. Hmm. Evajur. When Akarat wills it, he will find his tomb. What if he never meant for us to find it? That it even exists. Hmm. Don't talk like that! Our faith is our strength, always has been. And it's all we have left now. Hmm. I wonder who's... When Akarat wills it. Oh, okay. Find these wow. That it even exists. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Don't talk our like faith that. is our strength. Always has been. Remnants of faith. A young crusader apprentice wishes to carry on her master's legacy. A spat of grisly deaths terrifies a group of villagers who fear a dark power is at work. Hmm. A boisterous crusader is looking for anyone who can hold a sword. So the crusaders, like, paladins of the Zakarum faith who in are like inherently meant to go elsewhere unfortunately i haven't finished reaper of souls and i feel terrible for that i really need to go through and do it but just hmm. 
Diablo 3, I, I played through it so many times, and then Reaper Souls came out, and I, I just didn't have the attention span. I didn't expect this to be as amazing as it is, to be honest. Like, this renewed my caring at all about this series. <laughs> uh, there's so many villagers to talk to. I want to get story though. I want to actually like get story, and we can we can talk to all the people for side quest day later. You were a student of Elias's, Taisa. I was hunting Elias, pretending to study with him. It is good. was useful to me. Blorath, were you and Donan friends? See, I I already asked Donan if they if he and Lorath are friends. Friends, did he tell you that? <laughs> if he thinks so, you should ask him what happened. Oh. I don't care anymore. Oh. Yeah, uh... You don't want to pry, but it seems like you still kind of care, buddy. I'm starting to think taking you on this journey was a mistake. <laughs> You've been saying that since the beginning. Kaisa, how are we going to stop Elias? We must break his hold on immortality. He cannot continue to escape his judgment. Yes. And without Elias, we may have more success against Lilith. Where do we start? Very sensitive. Seek out Timoe in the marshes. She traded with the power in the swamp and received long life. She may have the answer to killing Elias for good. Nayral and I will start looking for her. What about Donan? He has his hands full with the soul stone. A heavy burden to bear alone. Might be wise to offer him assistance. Who's Timwe? An old acquaintance who has lived in this place for countless years. She taught me much about the swamp and its power. Though that was a long time ago. She might try to turn you away. Do not let her. What do you know about Zarbanzet? It is a town at the edge of Hawazar, forever between Sanctuary's power and the swamps. Hawazar is a part of Sanctuary. This. We're in Sanctuary. Ah. Is it? Is it? Tysa. <laughs> All right, Bucky. Enjoy your coffee. All right, Tysa. You have my interest. What's what's in that swamp? I want to know. You you have this little archaeologist's attention. The librarian is in. <laughs> Past divided. Speak with Donna. Wait. It really is. Okay. 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 Father Demas. <sighs> Do I ask for a blessing from a priest who may well be a uh, an actual follower of hatred? And I mean, this quest supposedly we needed the power of hatred to drive the soul stone. I love the idea that like my my rogue has been hanging out just reading all these books and, and becoming like more and more invested in the history of Sanctuary and less and less devoted to the current happenings of the here and now after knowing just how much SOL humanity really is and just <laughs> she knows so much. Yeah, let's let's get a blessing from Mephisto. Please bless me, Father. For I have sinned. Blessings of Akarat be with you, child. Oh, Akarat. Also I I'll accept Akarat. Thank you. Do you have any advice? Faith. Is infectious. The stronger the light in you, the brighter it shines on those around you. Bring your friends into our fold. Through fellowship and unity, 
our faith shall endure. Hmm. Hey, Donan. Was your journey with Loras and Nayral into the swamp? I think not. I have to take care of the Soul Stone. Lorath will be fine alone. Northeast of here is a Zakarum keep. We know hatred has a strong presence there. Perhaps we can use it to prepare the Soul Stone to trap Lilith. I could use your assistance if you're able. Ah, hmm? uh, we have to choose one. Do I want? I legit don't care about the Zakarum. Like, I'll go read about them later. I, I'll learn about the Crusaders and stuff. But Tysa told me about something in the swamp that tells me we're not bound to this plane. I don't know. That's that's some real powerful magics there. You have my attention, Tysa. We ride to the east. Whoa, hello rubber bands. Oh, that's the end of that area. A treasure chest. With nothing of use. Hmm. Also, new music. I love that. I love new music. Gem-laden geode. This? What's this? What's this? What's this? I run through. I'm out of energy. Well, oh, okay. I just exploded the cow and I feel bad. Out of energy. I need more time. Very nice. So, that is two. Two for the night that we have done a timed quest where it says do X number thing before time runs out. And we've completed the quest. With time to spare. Feels good. Feels really good. I need more time. Very nice. Wow, we have a long ways to ride. And an additional point on the Paragon board. Uh, let's go over here real quick. I need more Put time. in for the extra dexterity. That's it for that.
I don't know what I'm stepping on that's making that noise, but I feel bad. Also, there's so much loot right here. Hello. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I just got really excited. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Okay. Uh, critical strike chance against injured enemies. While you're healthy, you gain increased crowd control duration. Goodbye. Hello. Okay. Well, I just got a lot more dangerous to the opponents. Iron Wolf, indeed. I now have explosive grenade launcher bow. Where are we going here? I do like follow fields of desecration. I like following the actual roads. It feels good and correct. I wish I could just dive down some of these little gullies. Plains of attrition. Fields of desolation, plains of attrition. What are we about to find? Oh. An event is nearby. Smack. Ah. I hey, will do this one. It's been a minute. Oh, that feels so good. Blood is the key. Wow. Spawn of the Damned. Whoa, hello, Greetings. hello. <laughs> I hit the wrong button every time I try to respond there. Jeez. Some big damage. And I'm running out of pressure plate time. Okay, next one. Whoa, whoa. That is a lot of damage all at once. Is that it? All right. Very nice. That's some triumphant music. Also, it's having to load in new uh, enemy models for the zone over and over. Oh, little cows, get out of here. Don't eat gallo vine. It's bad. For See, this is what happens. Don't eat gallo vine. You'll get eaten by demons. <laughs> Wait, why did I jump off my horse? I didn't even hit the button for that. What's happening here? I'm not ready yet. <laughs> You'll remember that. But will the cows? No, I'm not ready Jesus yet. was slain by a putrid remains. <laughs> oh, hello. Have enough energy. No. No. There it is. That's the one. It was in Hawazar. Contraband, huh?
I just want to keep that marker there. It's important to me. All right, time to find Laura. Oh, an altar. What is this? A stronghold, Vieres. I run over cultist. I run over so many cultist and snake. I overrun. Why do I keep getting off my horse? I'm not telling it to do that. And this is where I wanted to go. Well, it seems like it at least. I'm not ready yet. What a snaky little spell. Oh, my horse is getting... It's taking enough damage that I'm just getting kicked off. I get it. So they are here, somewhere in here. Oh, what a lonesome place to come seeking knowledge. You must have thought we had no choice. Neither do we. All right, Loras. Any luck? Any luck finding Timue? Another set of eyes, at last. I've been searching for Timue with little success. They have their own horses! Oh, that's really cool. I was kind of wondering what it would do if I did that. Run over the things. Do you think Elias knew Taisa before she went to his palace? I don't know, Nera. What do you know? Many things I wish I did. <laughs> that's a mood. Timoe's hovel. I didn't... I had no idea I was anywhere near where I was supposed to be. I was just searching aimlessly and happened upon it. Hmm. Only two kinds of people come looking for old Timoe. Those running away from trouble. And those running toward it. Which kind are you, I wonder? Both. At the same time, we're hunting for a man named Elias. Never heard of him. We think Elias made a pact with the swamp to become immortal. Taisa said you could help it. Taisa. Only she would be cold hearted enough to send a child to die out here. With no intention of dying. One of you will. That's the way it always ends. Go back where you came from. I won't have a child's blood on my hands. I saw my mother possessed by Lilith. Driven so mad, it killed her. I'm not a child anymore. So be it. If this Elias made a pact, it was with the Tree of Whispers. There are many paths to reach it. But the nearest is in Ingovani. A sacred incense is kept in the temple there. Retrieve it, and your path to the tree begins. Okay, but... Mayrell and I will see if we can get some more information out of Timoy. I know I'm more suited for the adventure, Lorath. Like, I'm 
far more equipped for this, but what if I want to talk to Timoe about history? Timoe, Tyson said you traded with the swamp for long life? Yes. I was infected with the swamp's poison. And we made a pact with the tree out of fear. So now I give it knowledge. And in exchange, it keeps me one step away from the grave. I wish it would just let me go. But a pact made cannot be broken. Hmm. How does Tysa know you? She was like you once. Standing here in my hut. Asking to be set on the path. And you will be like her. Taking the answers you need and never looking back. Oh. What did... Did you like Tysa? Look, I'm... I'm pretty sure I could talk to her and like see what's going on. I don't know. Everybody seems to think that I can like fix all their issues. So I mean, you could tell me what the heck happened. What's so important about this temple, anyways? The swamp nests in the roots of the tree of whispers. This is how each path begins. The temple at Ingovani rests on one root. But it is no less or more important than any other route. Hmm. Understood? Everything is of the same great importance in the swamp. And like that, I, I feel that too. It's... Whoop! Wrong button. Culturally relevant to me. What is with this game and not wanting me to walk on my horse? Bye! I zoom! So zoom! Into the midst of all this, the morass of misery. Find the town of Ingovani. Looks like it's over here. Oh. Hmm. These bandits will not leave well enough alone. We have lived peacefully in these swamps for as long as anyone can remember. But now violence comes into its heart, and it means to rob our god. They don't believe us when we say the swamp always, always extracts a price. But now violence comes to its heart and means to rob our god. They don't believe us when we say the swamp always extracts a price. Gravestone door. So they spoke of the old gods with the druids, like the old ways and the old gods. And I wonder, are those are those beliefs based in like the faith of the firstborn, something born of the Nephilim, something else, something of a different plane? Something in the Nine Hells. It's hard to say, but like, there are other forces in this universe. The universe that Sanctuary resides in. This multi-dimensional place. And Sanctuary simply being the prime material plane, but it's in between so many other spots. And I'm curious, like, are they introducing new gods? New lore? door bears an image of a snake. Her eyes are missing. Oh, God. Kill 20 bandits. Is the key to opening the way. Okay.
half-devoured cultists. Bye. I need more time. Corpse whale deluge. Personally, I'm curious to know what the Elder Gods are, too. Um, what is... What is happening here? Huh? Look, I, I get that the swamp always extracts a price, but this is just... rude. <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> Like, at any point, these could all start attacking me, but they are so angry at this fellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to return the eye before I'm allowed to go up here. Oh, slay the serpents. Okay, never mind. Out of energy. What? Happened to you. Also, the hello, Jarvie. They wouldn't listen when we demanded the gems to open the temple. That found them. It's the way of things. But I hear them still. Their warnings. Four of us are dead now. And I am soon to follow. Oh no, I'm I'm reading to the audience here the story. Serpent's left eye. Okay, that, that guy is dead. Dead, dead, dead. I don't even know how many times he got bitten while I just kind of stood there. Waiting for blinkies to dry. Aw, extra cozy. So many horse fairy anger. Right eye socket. Left eye socket. Stomp to the left. Stomp to the right. Two stomps this time. <laughs> Welcome to the slithering dark. <sighs> oh, okay. No stompies, just zoomies. We scamper and we slither. Look at these snakes, they slither with me. It's a cool statue, a little hydra. I don't wanna fight the plague swarms. It's gonna result in these snakes yet. getting hurt. There we go. <laughs> okay, you're a problem. I need more time. Hello. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Commissioned that Hydra statue a few weeks ago. Well, thank you for putting it there. I really appreciate it, Jarvi. It really brings out just the color in this place. I just, ah, oh, just the light pops now. <laughs> oh, that looks like a problem. Thank you, Dan. 
appreciate the gift sub. In a few years, we play host to migrants determined to join our settlement. <laughs> and every few years, I must preach the laws of the swamp. All things in the swamp <laughs> must be earned. Everyone awake now? Nothing is free. Nothing is given or gifted. And to our god, we pay the ultimate tithe. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no, we've done it again. I've somehow right-clicked in between the screens and then somehow clicked on the desktop. Right-clicked on the desktop, opened a properties window. It still hasn't opened yet. I'm still waiting for it to respond. All in the middle of being in that fight. No more worries, ever. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! <sighs> oh, I upset that fungus. That was some Walking Dead stuff. Or no, Last of Us. That's the one with the mushroom zombie. I need more time. Explosive flies. For fighting both the game and your machine simultaneously. <laughs> Thank you. Slaying demons in my head and the game. <laughs> Gauze Snowblast. What a name. Did you choose it? That Hail of Arrows ability, or Hail of Knives, is, like, absurdly over... It's not even a skill. Like, I don't get to access that as a skill. That only comes from items. And it's... Whoa. I need more cool stuff like that. <laughs> oh. Okay. The snakes came together and made another snake. I need more time. The slithering depths. Search the slithering dark. Blow up. Aw, oh, it doesn't hurt the snake. I need more time. The air conditioner kicked on. I was like, whoa, my laptop got real vibrating for a sec. Oh no, my pack's full. So everything here's got increased health. Uh, I knew I picked up a white item. Ah, okay. Are we any closer to the end of this dungeon? Slithery friend. Wait. Wait a sec. Okay, the rocks are breathing. Why are the... <laughs> Donna's house is bleeding. The rocks out here are breathing. What... <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you hear that big snake? <laughs> Molon's nest. Incense box. Oh, okay. Hello, Molon. The snake queen. I don't know who you are, and I'm sorry that we're fighting. I didn't expect to be today, but I guess that's just how our day is working out. Um, I hope that your your day gets better. But in the meantime, I I need to kill you, so uh, I don't see those two things quite lining up. 
Maybe, maybe next Monday, you know? Yeah. You never know. Things will get better. I'm not ready yet. Huh? No, 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 no. Ah! No! Uh, we go over here, we go over here. Oh, wow, that is a lot of damage. Stunned! Loving the stun damage. Yep, keep that up. <laughs> and battle complete. Can't carry anymore. You know what I don't need? This or this. Also, uh, increased healing received, damage reduction while control impaired, while fortified, thorns. I put the wrong thing in there, but I actually need the poison resistance, so I'll take it. I'm ah. carrying too much. Of course, of course I click out of screen again. Mystic incense. Hmm. Infiltrator Serpent Bite. Oh, that's that sword I got like really early on. I was like, why is this sword a snake bite thing? It's because it was from this part of the world. It makes way more sense now. Ingovani. I can just. Oh, there's a rope here. You two just made it here. I'm glad. Why do you think Elias sought immortality? The ritual to summon Lilith would have been demanding. Perhaps he was afraid he wouldn't survive it. And I'm sure he expected to make enemies along the way. <laughs> you know... In this world... If you know that the world is going to hell, if you know that it's all falling apart and it's being consumed and the apocalypse is on the horizon, you can see it happening and you have the ability to give yourself everlasting life, what would that actually consist of? Like after everything is gone, are you are you going to be uncomfortable? Or does with that the ability to survive I'm under attack? I don't know. Just, it's interesting. I think we'll have what we need. Good, you found the incense. I'll keep it safe for us. While you were gone, Timue warmed up to us. <laughs> well, to Lorath. He's surprisingly nimble with old women. Nero. What does it even mean? <laughs> she says there's an altar. That's what the incense is for. It's not far from here. Right? Eternally suffering and regenerate. Like, die, regenerate, die, regenerate, die, regenerate. Like, that does not sound fun. Molon's fame. You, I don't... Yeah. Molon, the largest and most cunning of the Nangari, is said to have gained her intelligence from consuming the witch Zala, who once called the Scrying Pools her home. Hmm. Catch up with Laura and name out. Okay, we're sitting at the three hour forty eight mark. I'm gonna uh, take an early break here and use the restroom and go locate my short stories and we're gonna go park ourselves in a city so we can listen to the spooky music and listen to a short story written by the sandway. So bear with me, we're gonna get this all set up and we'll be right back shortly. Uh, hit this over here, hit this over here. Hit this over here. Hit this over here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh. And we'll be right back. See you folks in a sec.
I'm only just now realizing that as I'm uh, looking for my my recordings, my recordings, my stories, I'd never recorded myself reading these. Um, it's going to kill the audio, so I have to go look this up. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. I forgot that I set up the links that way. Now, what I'm curious about here is what we're going to do for which story? Because I've got a few. I've got a lot, actually. And if I had prepared a little bit better, I would have had them already available as, like, their original notepad entities, but I'm going to have to go look them up. And I'm super glad that as I'm scrolling through this, it's not actually displaying my screen because, uh... Oh, these... There's, there's some old selfies here. Okay. <laughs> okay so an actual story about my huntress the uh the character that i wrote story for in the first place and did a lot of recurring chapters for uh here's another question what should we do about um first of all what category we're going to be doing this in should I log out of Diablo? Since this is written in the world of, of well, uh, New Karos, which is my my whole, like, desert campaign place in D&D that I created on my own. Should we do it as just chatting? Should we do this as, um, what is it? Just listed as D&T? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Dan! Dan's out of control! <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub! Just chatting or Diablo is fine. Okay, that works for me then. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 We'll also go in and click on the wrong part of myself. Put me over here. Okay. It's so weird being like right in front of the middle of the game now after getting used to like trying to be out of the way. What is this? This is how I stream. Just like, oh yeah, you can see my character, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move this down here. <clears throat> yeah. No, 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 no! The hunter grabbed the corner of the wall. She sped down the hall. Her cloak was in tatters, and embers trailed like fireflies behind her. With a deft leap and pulling herself just past the corner, she launched her body into the alcove as another jet of dragon fire blasted past. Damnation. The Drake was never going to join the council, and she was lucky to have escaped the hearing chambers with her head. She reached into her belt pouch and procured a tiny crystal file full of bubbling clear liquid. It's always a risk throwing one of these into the mix. Problematic little things. She waited until she could hear the tap of the guard's claws just meters away and tossed the file into the air. It tumbled gracefully and bounced against the stone floor with an echo, unbroken. Swearing to the skies and the goddess of luck, she drew her bow and let fly a steel-tipped arrow at the file. The file exploded as the arrow had struck, and the hunter had barely enough time to toss her cloak up as a shield before bolting down the hall once more. A light mist of the shimmery contents coated the entire six-meter junction leading to the undercroft, and the dragonborn guards found their feet almost immediately swept out from under their hulks. The hunter listened to the panicked yelps of her reptilian adversaries as they continued to fail to stand, finding their armor's binding slipping loose and their spears impossible to grip. Oil of slipperiness was, in, was a difficult thing to come across, and replacing the file would be challenging, but it appeared to have served its purpose today. She tapped on the eastern wall, eastward wall of the undercroft, and a mesh of bricks sunk in. 
revealing a tunnel she would be able to fit through without issue, and hopefully nobody else. She'd have to talk to the old man about this one. The country would suffer under the influence of the Green Drake. See, here's the problem that I'm running across, is like, these are very short, short, short stories that like all link together as part of an overarching thing. So now I'm like, okay, where's the next part of the Huntress's story? Unfortunately, they're all wrapped up. Uh, that one's a space battle. This one is... Okay. The Huntress wrapped the veil around her face and covered its delicate wisps with her muffler. The oncoming storm was difficult enough... Wait, what? Oh, the veil has... Okay, yeah. The storm was difficult enough, but seeing a beast not entirely grounded in the prime material plane would be nigh impossible without a veil of true scene. The enchanted fabric staved off much of the cold and allowed her some comfort of breathing at the peak of this blasted mountain. There stood the dais of black stone, its shimmering surface as transfixing as the stars. No, that wasn't right. They were stars. This stone tablet, the breadth of a cabin, and smoothed knee-height tops seemed a window into, or out of, this pedestrian world. The Huntress had seen many things in the last three seasons. Great castles full of fire and the vibrancy of life. Forests of emerald and jet. Living worlds of their own, never touched by the hands of mortals. In the last months, climbing to the end of the world, it would seem. Crackling energy flickered around the Huntress's left hand, beckoning her attention and growing almost impatient as she drew closer to the dais. She reached forth, palm open, as the sigil of the old man burned bright on the back of her gauntlet. The dais split in the middle and out poured the inky black of space itself, like milk dropped into water. She watched in amazement as great claws of energy and life suddenly gripped the dais from the middle and sundered the window with one grand ripping motion. The shimmering body of the Vorpal Drake pulled itself from the ground. From space-time itself, the Huntress sat promptly on the snow and crossed her legs, waiting for the dragon to acclimate to its new surroundings. She pulled down the hood, noting while she could no longer see its enormity, she could still feel its presence. She smiled, a human enough greeting to the beast of this ether. Welcome, friend. Shall I accompany you to your appointment? She shouted playfully. The drake's body might not be here, but its laughter echoed over the mountaintops in response. This would be a good day. <laughs> oh, I got notifications going off everywhere. Hmm. Aware of the pedestrian world. <laughs> Uh, see, I, I, this makes me want to go back and actually start writing again. I miss doing stories about the Huntress. She was on a mission. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I find the mission? Uh, nope, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Dragon through a portal. A Vorpal Dragon. Something not grounded to the Prime Material Plane. Something... Grunch? Grunch. Is that the first story? Hold on a sec. Nope. Everything's out of order. Okay, good to know. <laughs> the hunter needed to stop taking these commissions. Last season, she's out chasing firewolves, and this year, she's after their matriarch. Why? Why do the townsfolk always call her? Not that she need not that they needed to know she wasn't going to kill the matriarch. By no means would the house of Bahamut let her get away with it. She knocked on the cliffside and placed her hand on the rock wall. It drifted back and a doorway recessed into the stone. Ah, memories. She smiled to herself. The sigil on her left hand, a reminder of the day his voice stopped her mid-draw during a rather well-paid commission years ago. A man in white robes, wearing a strange crown of shimmering metal, stepped quite literally out of the rock wall of the cave. He said he was an emissary from the house, and that he had a simple, sim a simple single request of her. Do not do this thing. The man smiled, turned, and walked back to the stone without a sound. A chime like a bell resonated through the cave, and to the hunter's astonishment, the rock wall now had a belt of shimmering silver where once there was only granite. Forget the money, this man knew something. She touched the silver vein, and her ranger's gauntlet sloughed off her hand as though it had been burned away by dragon's fire. In its place lay a shimmering silver sigil on her hand, and the warmth like a hearth she'd left weeks before. Her quest began that day where before it had all just been jobs <laughs> and so yeah that was actually like the beginning of her quest she she got sent on um a series of 
mm, diplomatic missions to try and bring ancient drakes and dragons that have been ruling the land as uh, immortal humanoid forms, so leading entire countries and whatnot for way too long from the shadows, and telling them, hey, uh, come back out of the shadows. We've got other things that we actually need to focus on. But I never got to that point of the story. It's just... It was all about the Huntress and her day-to-day -day life of having to do these missions in the first place and the problems that she faced therein. And uh, I was actually finally getting to a point where there, there was going to be more and connection between the different characters. I had started a story about an acolyte who had also heard the call of Bahamut, but in her case she actually was a priestess of the Sisterhood that, like, in, in her region of the world, Worth Bahamut. And uh, while well, carrying an artifact from one place to another that was supposed to be a, a holy symbol of, of some sort having to do with that said religion, she gets placed in his presence and sent on a quest to go do something else, but doesn't have a whole lot of explanation because the gods don't have a lot of time to explain things and can't really elaborate a whole lot to mortals lest destroying the point of the quest in the first place. And, uh... Oh, it, in order for me to read the stories of the Acolyte, I really do want to make certain that I've actually got all of them together because it will be a little bit longer of, of a, a thing. It's... I want to say like six chapters long and actually had a couple of pages to each chapter comparatively versus all these other ones that are basically like I don't know six or seven paragraphs and when you're reading them at pace as a person that's like used to reading fantasy novels uh <laughs> they're they're not a lot of not a lot there like they're very dense but <laughs> I want more I want to read this story I don't want to have to write this story <laughs> Uh, that being said, thank you, thank you so much for like listening for a moment to some of my old creative writing from back when I was doing D and D stuff on a consistent basis. And uh, maybe, maybe as a future treat, we'll go back and try and get some of those together to read more coherently, or I'll, or I'll actually do some actual creative writing. It's been a moment, and playing through this campaign has really, really inspired me to to do some more of it. I'm glad. I'm glad you appreciate it. Um, I think that I may have actually hit the end of my energy for the night. I've I've had one and a half energy drinks, and I don't think I should have a, the rest of this one, to be honest. I'm going to just have some water and kind of relax for the rest of the evening. Yeah! Want to read story and don't want to have to write. Yeah, honestly, like... Same thing goes for my sci-fi. I want to read the story, but it was fun at the same time to also challenge myself. And part of what I wanted to do with it was um, give my players a better idea of the in-world universe and how different classes interact with each other. Because, like, D&D &D classes are, like a job, a skill set, a special set of abilities that a person has, but in some cases there's entire guilds, there's there's fortresses and strongholds and massive uh, journeys that a person must go on or a pilgrimage or some way to prove your mettle in order to join these guilds. And one of the other stories that I really enjoyed writing at one point was um, about a gunslinger who started as an archer and was doing her job change quest and was trying to get to the gunslinger stronghold in western Caranthia, but didn't have a whole lot of guidance on how to get there and finds out later that uh the person that was supposed to be like training her and guiding her that had disappeared had been tailing her and being um, a new recruit caught them off guard <laughs> and captures them and drags their body through the desert. <laughs> um, yeah, I I want to I want to write more and I want to read more because it's these concepts are fun. 
let's go take a look and see who we want to raid for the evening. This has been a lot of fun, but I want to make certain that I've got the spoons and energy to continue again tomorrow. Uh, for those that are new to the stream and haven't been here before, I normally stream 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to about midnight on any given evening, although sometimes we'll do a little bit later on evenings like this. And while we also do... Um, while we do rogue, the, the streams with Diablo, we also do roguelike streams and some community vote gaming. So for those that are not yet members, feel free to click on the link in the About section for the Discord and uh, join in on those community votes so that we can figure out what we want to play together and also potentially get involved in doing some community activities such as like watching movies or something either in the Discord or on VR chat because I've been wanting to do some more of that stuff together as well. Um, let me, let me open up this other tab here. I'm getting distracted doing too many things at once. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. You know what? I could use a pick-me-up. A musical pick-me-up. Let's go say hi to Val dudes. I like chilling with that guy. Bam. Start the rain. And for those who aren't familiar, Val dudes is a uh, DJ. I'm trying to remember where he's actually based out of. Um, who plays so many different genres. It's really hard to actually kind of like compartmentalize it. But it's a lot of EDM, a lot of disco, a lot of funk, a lot of house. And then, usually as the evening progresses, it gets real interesting and esoteric, and it's probably one of my favorite things about his streams, is that, like, I get to learn about all sorts of things musically that I wouldn't go and seek out of my own accord, because I wouldn't even know what questions to ask. So, let's all do a Green Glow Dog Raid. And say hi. Bop, bop. And raid right now. 